Representing the Wolverines is head coach Andrew DiDonato and senior safety from McKees Rocks, Pennsylvania, Montour graduate, Montour High School graduate, Dom Magliocco. So coach, we'll start with you first. With 19 returning starters, including 11 on offense, will this year's preseason be considerably different than previous seasons? And it's always will be the same thing with us, same three things we'll talk about all preseason, vision, process, love. That's why we say brick by brick. When you build brick by brick, three components. You start with a blueprint, that's your vision. You build one brick at a time, that's the process. Mortar holds it together, it represents love. So that will be the same, and that's true for all three units. All three units have a vision. All three units build one brick at a time, and, and all three units are doing it where love comes in. Now, with 19 returning starters, a lot of bricks have been laid. We've had units who competed at a high level, so we do get to start at a different spot. I think we can install faster, get to the corrections from last year, some of the changes that we will need to make heading into this season. But uh, vision, process, love, that's what preseason will be about. What are a couple areas the Wolverines are looking to shore up prior to the start of the season, September 2nd, against Westminster? Well, I got Dom with me, so I'll start with the defense. We uh, had a corner who missed pretty much all of last year and a safety who missed significant time. Both of them will be back, which is exciting. But we do graduate a, a four-year starter, so who will be where in the secondary? That would be the first thing to shore up. In the box, we return the rookie of the year from last year. Our all-time sack leader is going to use his fifth year. He'll be back, a couple D linemen. But we do graduate a couple four-year starters in the box, so who will be where exactly there is the second thing to shore up. We return all 11 on offense, so I've never had that before. So I, I don't expect our offense to look any different. And in special teams, we had a five-year kicker, so I haven't had a new kicker in a long time. So who will be doing those duties? That will be different as well. So secondary, uh, who will be where in the box, and then our kicking game will be the three things to shore up in camp. Okay. Grove City and Westminster are separated by 14 miles. Football series dates back 130 years, and the last five meetings have been decided by a total of 20 combined points. What will it be like to open this season against Westminster? That's an amazing stat to hear. I mean, the last five games, total of 20 points. Scott Benzel, a man I respect a lot, their head coach, we've said before, no matter what the flow of Westminster Grove City is, we know it's what it's going to come down to in the fourth quarter. It just is what it is. And, and last year was no different. It came down, everyone there on the edge of their seat, came down to the last play of the game, a throw into the end zone that got batted away. And, and it was two you know, very te good teams that respect each other, that gave each other everything. And you know what's special is after the game, I, I was with my family. Scott came over to me, and, and we just talked about the respect we have for one another. Ian Barr, uh, just one of the best players to play in this league over the last several years. We stood on the field for a long time and talked about the great battles and, and the respect we have for each other. So. Honestly, I, I would describe Westminster and Grove City, it's fun. And uh, I think for both teams to start that way, uh, I think it's going to set the tone for a fun season for both teams. So you've touched on Dom among your other returning starters. What does Dom Magliocca mean to the program both on the field and off the field? Yeah, we, we have a very clear vision. It's to glorify God in the pursuit of earning a degree, building lasting relationships, and competing for PAC championships. And for a young man to join me at Media Day, it means they reflect all aspect of our vision. And, and for Dom, on the field physically, we have a phrase, effort every rep, no loafs. We grade loafs, and he hasn't gotten one in his time here. I mean, he's a man who brings effort every single play. That's why he is a great safety. He brings that same effort to the classroom, holds a great GPA at a school like Grove City. Socially, we voted for captains, and I went through the sheets, and everybody voted Dom, the next guy, Dom, the next guy, Dom. I mean, so almost every one of his teammates voted him as captain. And then spiritually, uh, we try to teach spiritual through, truths through phrases. And one of those is, it's normal to be challenged, wrong to be defeated. And we base that off in the Bible, James chapter 1. It says, consider it joy, my brothers, when you face trials of many kinds. Trials are going to come. Consider it joy when you face trials of many kinds, because you know that the testing of your faith develops perseverance. And perseverance finished its work in you, so you may be mature and complete, lacking nothing. Normal to be challenged, trials will become wrong to be defeated, meaning you can have joy in the midst of that trial. Well, Dom's sophomore year, I was on the field with him, a couple practices in the camp, and I had a season-ending injury that was tough. And even then, he was as calm as he is now. And every time I went up to him throughout the season, had a smile on his face on the sidelines. And you know, I can tell you, when, when we teach our phrases, we use former players as models of what that looks like to live it out. And I can tell you, for many years to come, when I teach the team about normal to be challenged, wrong to be defeated, Dom will be the example I use for that. Okay. Final question, what are the keys for the Wolverines in 2023? Yeah, we, we've worked hard to get 
units in all three phases that can compete towards the top of this league. We must do what's got us here to maintain that. And we take a hard look at the big games over the last several years, those we've won, those we've lost. And it's it's things that you would expect. It comes down to turnovers, uh, limit the negative plays, and you got to make some explosive plays yourself. And when we have done that more than our opponent, it's worked out in our favor. And when we haven't, things didn't go the way we wanted. So we've spent a lot of time doing everything we can to uh, put ourselves in the best position to make sure those things are things that go our way in 2023. Okay. Thanks, Coach. And now it's Dom's turn for a few questions. Dom, the 2022 season marked your first full year of college football after a short season in spring 2021 and a season-ending season injury prior to fall of 2021. What was it like for you to not only get back on the field but to start all 11 games on a defense that ranked as one of the tops in the conference last year? Yeah, I mean, I know seniors around here that uh, COVID season was rough. It felt like we were playing football all year round, just not being able to hit anybody else besides our teammates. <laughs> And then coming back off of that next year, during camp, I get hurt. But I just kept trying to focus on that vision and do whatever I can to get back. So it was just a great feeling. And then to be able to come back, earn a starting job, and then be able to play on one of the top defenses in the conference. What goals, if any, do you have for the new season? Um, I mean, I feel like everybody's goal is to win a conference championship. And with that, it's going to take trying to win every single game this year. Individual goals really don't mean anything to me besides that. Besides winning every game on our schedule, I'd say just staying healthy, uh, working hard every day, and uh, getting better and being the best teammate I can be. Okay. Coach touched on this during his talk about the voting uh, by your teammates for captain. What does it mean to ha for you to be selected as a team co-captain by your teammates, and how has that changed your approach for this season? If yeah. yeah, it's a uh, really an honor for me that they have they put their trust into me to be able to lead them because I remember coming in freshman sophomore years looking at those seniors juniors and even last year guys like Nick Grabiak Parker Kilgore on the defensive side uh Curtis Fryermuth and James Perrani even after coming back from injury and those guys are there letting me know how things work and how everything goes and final question, what has it been like for you to be part of the Grove City program? Um, one word that I would describe is uh, growth. I mean, coming in as a high school senior, freshman year, all, all I wanted to do was play. And with, when these things happen, COVID year, we don't get a football. We get half a football season. And then sophomore year of the season, I get hurt. But it allows me to realize that football is not going to be here forever. And uh, one thing that Coach Dito talks about is not getting your joy from football, but bringing it to football. And oftentimes during that freshman year, if I wasn't getting reps or I didn't have the best practice, that would play out how the rest of my day would be. When now I bring it to football so that whenever I go home, I can enjoy the time with friends and family. So that's the biggest thing. Outstanding. Thank you, Dom, and thanks again to Coach DiDonato. As mentioned earlier, the Wolverines will open the season September 2nd when they host Westminster College. Thank you again to Grove City.